Okay, so the goal today is I'm going to try and build a really simple and cheap robot using this box. This is a box for a, a launch pad MSP430 from TI. And uh, it's a pretty nice box. It's pretty sturdy. I think it will uh, be good for my purposes here to make a, a chassis. And we're going to use, for this first part, we're going to use this uh, it's a Tamiya twin motor gearbox. I think they're about maybe seven or eight bucks. Uh, does it come with the wheels? Uh, these came as part of a, a kit. You can buy the wheels for, I don't know, a couple of bucks. I'll, I'll find the link and post it up. But uh, you can see I've already got the, uh, the motors wired up here. Uh, if you're doing this project too, you'll have to solder some wires onto the uh, motors. It's pretty easy. But first I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do it is, is uh, kind of think about how I want this robot to to be uh, situated and I'm thinking I want this to be the front because I'm going to put sensors here on the uh, put sensors here and here I'll probably put a display of some sort eventually like an LCD display here and uh, open it like this and I'm going to have my drive on the front so it can turn well I'm going to have a caster back here for it to sit on so what I'm going to have to do first is you see uh, the wheels the wheels are going to need to have holes cut in the box so they'll fit correctly. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Zoom in. I can zoom in just a tad here. And I mean I'm not going to take great pains because I want to go ahead and get this done pretty quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. I've got several things I want to do so this is going to be real fast and imprecise. I'm just going to come through and cut some holes. I'll just mark them like this with the knife. Let's see right here. And right here. Okay. I'll come back and cut some uh cut some holes. Move my light over a little bit, I think. That might be better. Or not. Let's see. Okay, so like I said, this is gonna be quick and dirty, but hopefully effective. I do not have any exact measurements. It might work a little better. I'm planning on attaching everything with uh, hopefully zip ties will work well. I'm not planning on using any hardware for this. Now let's take a look. So that looks pretty good. Okay, motor, yep. I think that'll be just fine. Okay, so now, see I have uh, little points here and here, so I'm going to go ahead and poke some holes there and there with something, I guess a screwdriver will do, and I'll, uh, I'll use those little holes there to uh, zip tie with a little small screwdriver, poke holes. Good. 
I'm not sure if I want to go all the way around or just put two. I think I may just use these holes that are already here. Let me see how that works. I've actually got a little stick them on there already, so it's kind of sort of holding it in place. And like I said, I'm not gonna. Not going to spend a whole lot of time. I'm going to engineer this case. It's going to be quick, cheap, fast, and a little dirty. So I'll kind of put that one a little loosely. Here. And if you're an amateur robot builder, then you probably already know zip ties are crucial. They make everything easy. Really, for anything. Okay, so I'll grab my needle nose so I can pull these nice and snug. Out. Try not to cut the cardboard so much that I tear it. Through. The reason I'm using this box is it's got pretty durable cardboard, but still, it's got its limits. Okay, that's probably good. Hmm, looks a little loose there. Tighten this one down a little more. A couple more clicks. There we go. I'll trim these up. Now I'm going to put two more holes on the sides here. And I'm going to run another zip tie all the way around that little motor mount there for a little more stability. Two together to accomplish that. Let's see. Gonna go through like that. Then connect here. And then through again. A little extra length. Okay, we'll come back over here and make it tight. Secure now. Yeah, I like that. That feels pretty snug. Okay. And bam. Alrighty. So, yeah, that looks pretty nice. And while I'm at it, I can go ahead and cut some holes. Punch some holes for these motor wires here. To feed them through. The goal here is to have something nice and cheap, but also to have, using this box, I ought to be able to have a nice, clean appearance. 
without having wires and shit all over the place like I did in my last build. Keep in mind when you're watching this, and I'm not an experienced robot builder. This is my second robot ever. If you looked at my first one, which I called Cluster By, we had wires going everywhere. This one's going to be cleaner. Okie doke, it looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to stop the video and I'll get ready for the next little portion. Okay, now we're going to add this little uh, caster wheel on the back. So back it up a little bit so you can see it. And all it is is a little uh, ball bearing. It's going to it's gonna just sit back here. And before you add that, you got to check the level of it to make sure it's going to actually sit somewhat flat. This would actually be okay. Actually, I think I see a little problem here. This is actually going to hit the ground. This little bump is. You have to address that. tell you the truth, this little thing right here might, <laughs> would actually probably be enough to kind of roll on that, but I'll go ahead and install this because I have a feeling I'm going to end up shifting that over. We're just going to put this on the back here in a similar manner. I'm going to just punch a couple of holes out like I did there, there. There and this right about here. There again, this is not a meticulous design or anything. Now I'm gonna use these just little pieces of cardboard just to kind of make it a little higher them down a little bit. Something that'll cut it. So it'll fit in here nicely. Just kind of raise that level a little bit. Yep, you got it. We're going to zip tie these suckers. Building with zip ties is awesome. It's so easy. It's not necessarily the strongest thing in the world or most permanent, but it sure is easy when you're working with a non critical or just something for fun. And really, they're pretty sturdy. You may have to tighten them up every now and then. But I found them to be pretty reliable. Great prototyping materials. 
fresh. Get the needle nose out to tighten them. Yeah, the bot is starting to come together. <laughs> 